So I've run into some what I feel are VRAM issues with the 3080 Ti or some sort of a bottleneck in the game. I'm not entirely sure. But my graphics card usually pulls between 400 watts and 450 when it's running flat out. That's what you want to see. With ray tracing though, over time, it's like that gets goes lower and lower and the frame times are affected for example we're running at 4k very high ray tracing is very high and we have dlss quality and we're running at around 330 watts uh, 42 fps the one percent lows are not great so let's see now we'll lower it to dlss balance see what happens and it gets even worse. So the power consumption is like 280, 30 FPS. I mean, how does that make sense? It should be, we should be getting more FPS if things were working properly. But let's look at this further and mess around with some settings. Let's try DLSS performance. See what happens. Okay, we'll give it a second. Okay, so our power consumption went up. Our FPS got a lot better, but we're still not running flat out, even though it says we're using 99% of the GPU. Uh, the power consumption tells you a lot about how your system's running. So right now our 1% lows are pretty good, better than before. Okay, let's turn ray tracing off and see what happens. We should be able to run flat out, draw about 400 watts without any limitations. We'll also go at 4K native, disable DLSS. So now we're pulling what we should be pulling, 440, 450 watts. So this is what you wanna see if the GPU is under low. And if you look at our frame time, our 1% lows are really good as well. So this is without any bottlenecks of any sort. It's how it should be run, even with ray tracing. We shouldn't drop to uh, 200 watts because that doesn't make sense. Now let's try to enable DLSS and we should get more frame instead of getting less like we did last time with uh, ray tracing on. There we go. Our power consumption is where it should be and we're getting more frames because of DLSS. So this is normal. Now, I'm going to try messing with some of the ray tracing settings and see if we can find that threshold with the VRAM, which I think is what it is. Uh, or it could be something else, but I don't know. Maybe if someone else has an idea, leave a comment below. I would love to hear about it. What I want to try now is put all the graphical settings to medium to lower the VRAM burden theoretically, and then enable ray trace reflections to high and then see if we can maintain that 400 to 450 watt power consumption. So that should technically run with decent 1% lows and no bottlenecks. So we'll check that out. And there we go. We're consuming 430 watts. 1% lows are good. And ray trace reflections are on, on high. So that, it's almost like it's a VRAM thing. Let's run around a little bit. Now what I want to do is 
put the graphical settings from medium to high and see how that affects things. See if we can find that threshold where things start to go downhill for our 1% lows, power consumption, where, where that bottleneck occurs, whatever it is. So we're consuming 400, low 400s, 390. So it's like, looks like it's starting to get worse, which theoretically there should be more demand because we're raising the graphical settings. We went from medium to high on everything, and yet the power consumption is going down. Have any of you seen a little And this will get worse anywhere? and worse if you were to enable all ray tracing, everything on very high. It, whether DLSS is on or not, it'll consume like 250 watts. Frame times will be terrible, like in the 20s. It's almost like low VRAM behavior from what I've seen. But right now it's okay. I want to try enabling ray trace shadows and see what happens. So it dropped to 240 immediately. Let's give it a second, 24 FPS. Okay, so it's going up, 388, okay. So that's that's still playable, although it's it seems to be going lower and lower as we add settings, which would add onto the VRAM load, especially with ray tracing. 350. Still, our 1% lows are pretty decent. Please let there Frame be time graph looks okay. Here. Let's disable ray trace shadows and see how the GPU runs. Okay, so we're at 450 now. 113 FPS with ray trace shadows. So it, it's. I mean, I don't think it's a fan. Well, uh, 3080 Ti has a Please pretty big memory bus. It's essentially a 3090 with only 12 gigs of VRAM. But this is how Emperor? this GPU should be running when it's maxed there out. There are two nefariouses now. Clink first, nefarious later. Maybe he's in this bazaar. Now I'm going to try to put the level of detail to very high, the texture quality. I mean, let's see. So immediately dropped. Our frame rate got a lot worse. I mean, from going from high to very high. It's just not normal behavior that your GPU power consumption drops down by more than 100 watts and your frame rate tanks. It's just not normal. It's not what you usually see. Going from high to very high level of detail. And I've been thinking about maybe it's a CPU limitation, but that doesn't make sense either because raising graphical settings does not impact the CPU. Ray tracing, yes, but raising graphical settings is causing this uh, the GPU to drop down in power consumption, drop down in 1% lows, almost like it's bottleneck in the VRAM with the higher level of textures. So I don't think it's a CPU thing. Our GPU utilization that is at 99 at all times, that would drop if that's what it was. So I don't know. I heard a few other people are having similar issues with 3080 12 gig cards, but if you know what it could be, leave a comment. I'd like to hear about it. And that's all I got. Have a good one.